Okay, so Richard Ebu, right? Okay, so what is your name? Tell us about yourself. Um, my name's uh, Isaac Piri. Okay. Um, I'm the second born in the family of four. Okay. Um, I completed school in 2018. I'm currently working with Fortress Media slash Live TV. Wow. Yeah. So anyway, how did you come to know about Lubuto um, in general? I knew Lubuto when I was just by the just by within this school. Okay. I was I think that I was in grade four, should be in twenty eleven. Yeah, so I would always come just for to read books and I was very much interested in the laptops mm -hmm. and all that. So I would always come after classes, even during break. Mm -hmm. Just come for the activity. Then after that, it should be in 2015, I traveled to the Copper Belt mm -hmm. and came back in late 2015. Okay. Then from 2015 to 2017, first first quarter of 2017, I never used to come. Then I started coming here in 2017, somewhere in June, somewhere there. Then like life in the Copper Belt. I thought like because people there they are different people. I I came to meet people some people who had vulgar languages and what so I became a sort of an introvert person because I never liked the environment. So that's one of the reasons that even when I came back here I wouldn't like to socialize. But coming here again, met the family again, felt like oh I, I felt like I'm in the space that I belong to and started all that interactions again. Mm -hmm. And from there, that's why I picked up my talent from in acting. Mm -hmm. And I, I also realized from that same point that I can also do poetry and try a bit of music. Mm -hmm. and yes. Oh, wonderful. How about the programs for, for the world? Will you be able to tell us the program that you, you, you came across here? and the ones that you like most um i came across programs like drama poetry and book uh book what mm -hmm. uh, a book club mm -hmm. and uh the ict program that the other ict that side mm -hmm. and a lot of programs and i'm very much interested in the drama part and poetry and the music a bit oh okay yeah. okay drama and poetry is also okay yeah. so in drama is there any uh, play any part that you liked most that you acted and you felt like yeah this is me now and you know the one that you liked most what is there any part okay. uh, I think the part that I liked most was because that time that's the time I was trying to get more social yeah. yeah so it was the time that we did the dagama short okay. play, play yes. so the part i was doing was i was i introduced this song okay. and from my end i felt like my voice wasn't audible and it wasn't that mm -hmm. but looking at the feedback i got mm -hmm. after looking in the audience and the meeting we had, the the meeting we had after the play, mm. I felt like okay, I did best, and mm. that was one of the most memorable parts I, I remember. Okay, do you yeah. remember how you started like a song? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I do remember. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. Yes. Can you just sing a bit for us? Okay, so the song was, we need this, we need this. Wow. Yeah, wow. so that was the start of the song. Okay. Yes. Okay, wonderful. Is there anything that you 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 you, you feel like ah, you know Lubuto, you know I know Lubuto has got a lot of programs. Yes. You know, are there some more programs you'd like Lubuto to to to, 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 to include or to, to, to add? Mm, personally I would say not really but maybe if they can just separate the in terms of the library mm -hmm. we have the part where the this this the 
young ones mm-hmm. are studying from and the big ones because I feel like sometimes it's a bit of disturbing sometimes they are not making noise but just the kids moving up and down it's kind of disturbing oh okay. yes okay wonderful mm-hmm. okay so uh, about your your friends here the time you came at Lobotu yeah. about your friends how is your how was your interaction how is your interaction do you think they are good friends you can you can explain okay so i feel like i noticed a few people who are very good mm-hmm. uh namely i can talk of musa mm-hmm. i can talk i think patricia was one of the first person that talked to me the first when i came back mm-hmm. it should be in 2017 mm-hmm. she's one of the first five people that spoke to me mm-hmm. and just having these interactions with Patricia Musa I remember Mwenge, there was Mwengeli mm-hmm. and the other guys mm-hmm. I felt like okay I'm I'm L- Lubuto is my second home now oh okay yes wonderful we are happy to hear that yeah. all right are there any books that you've come across just within Lubuto the ones that you are reading the ones that you like okay That's I remember the books I've come across, I read the Nelson Mandela's biography, it should be in 2011. Okay. And also, late 2017 to 2018, I was reading the book by Pilan Dada, the Pavement Bookworm. Okay. Yes, and I've also read the book, for, I can't remember the title of the book, but the book by Mrs. Mulenga Kapwepwe. Okay. Yes. Wow. Oh, that's good to hear. Is there anything you'd want to say that you've not mentioned about Lubuto? Uh, the only thing I can say is to urge my fellow youths out there and as and all the people out there that Lubuto is a better place to be. Mm-hmm. You, in where, when you feel like your esteem is going down, mm-hmm. please come to Lubuto. There is mentorship. There are a lot of people you can interact with. Mm-hmm when you're facing any challenge you there's someone you can always talk to and find the solution to that that's troubling you wonderful yes. i heard you mentioned about the mentoring mentorship something like that yeah. is there any topic any story that you liked so much and uh, that really helped you um one of the topics that i liked was I think goal setting and self-esteem. Okay. So on the self-esteem part, I remember going to Nipa American Corner. Yes. So I remember the facilitator, the lady spoke of something that you should, you can always use your mirror to tell yourself, I'm handsome, I'm intelligent. Okay. Yes. So I picked it up from there. I yeah most yeah I know for guys looking in the mirror it's kind of weird, but. Yeah. I took it and I was like, okay, me, I'm going to do it no matter how weird it looks. And I would always tell myself, I'm brilliant, I'm, I can do it, I'm intelligent. And it kept me going and my self-esteem started building up from, from there. Because even when I'm in a space where I don't know anyone, but if I feel like I need to talk, I'll always remember that and I'll, I'll be able to raise my hand and say something. Yes. Thank you so much. It has been good talking to you. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thanks, guys. That was very nice.